take it to existence the whole day. Um, at the time, yeah, when I looked in at, at, at the quarterback, seeing that he was looking at the inside receiver, I was like, jump it, and if he throws it to him, you got it. You got to get it. So. How badly did you guys need to either get a stop or get a turnover at that moment? To be honest, like, we didn't feel like we needed anything badly. We just had to make sure we were all trusting each other out there on the field, continue to play, and um, – not look at the scoreboard, not look at the time on the clock, just keep, you know, continue to trust each other and continue to do what we have to do. I think you kind of made like a diving, leaping catch, right? Kind yeah. To your left. When, when you finally catch it, finish out the play, what goes through your mind? When I caught it, I was was like it's over um I, I, I can't even explain you know what's going through my head it's something i'm going to remember forever it's a great feeling that uh, i caught that and could get up and do that for my team you needed two hands this week instead of one yeah yeah I, I most definitely needed it you know it was kind of coming a little hotter than the last one so yeah i had to put two hands on what's, it but you guys had two other really big turnovers too inside the five yard line on both sides just the the takeaway ability of the defense what does that do for you guys um, it just says that um, we have to get better and, and, and that we, we can do this. It just it makes us believe even more. We already believed at the beginning, but it just um, gives us something to work off of and continue to uh, grind and continue to get better. What's it mean to you? I mean, that's probably going to be a play that you know Iowa State fans talk about, you know, look back on and think about for a long time now, that pick at the end. Um, yeah, I'm going to remember <laughs> forever, man. I, it, was, it was great, man. It was just Great being able to do that for my team, and uh, now it's over, and now we have to continue to work and uh, you know, get ready for the next game. How Coach tough Campbell is that said. to do when, with a win like this and the streak you guys are on? How tough is that to, to turn the page after every week? It, we have to. It's, it's not hard at all. This, it's not you know hard. We we know we have to turn the page after this to continue to have the success that um, we're having. So. Um, what was it like when the fans kind of stormed the field there at the end? It was great, man. Um, just anybody say anything or do anything <coughs> to, to you that kind of stood out? Just um, being able to go over to my mom, go over to my dad, man, and uh, my dad shared a, a, a Bible verse to me. It was Romans eight thirty one. It's uh, if God's with us, who can be against us? And it's just. That's some, That's a verse I'm going to remember forever. So. Where Where were your parents? They were in the stands behind us, but um, when they rushed the field, they were on our sideline. So I got out of uh, you know all of the uh, you know the mosh pit and got to my parents, and that's that's when it happened. Why that Bible verse? Why did he <coughs> share that one with you? He shared it to me um, during the week before uh, the game, and when he said it to me, I don't know. It just it carried it. Something to remember. It's something I remember throughout the whole week that, that drove me a little bit. So, When did he tell you during the week? Like Thursday, Wednesday, something. Just over the phone? Yep, over the phone. Why, what was it about that that stuck, stuck your core? It's just, um, you know, the meaning of it to me, I, I interpret it as, you know, we're all in this together, man. And, and we have to believe ourselves that we can do this at all times, you know, through adversity, through bad, through good, whatever. We're in this together, and, and that's that's why I remembered it so so big. Thanks, Coach man. mentioned uh, you, basically the difference in the game was you guys worked harder for longer. Where does that that effort come from, especially late in a game like this where it's a pretty hard fought? Man, process. that effort comes from summertime and, and in the spring, um, continuing to hear people tell us that we couldn't do something, um, that we weren't be that we wouldn't be good this season and stuff like that. That's what drives us to continue to work throughout a whole game, man. So, yeah. I know. I